have to know what the ducks are now. Like I, I can't continue. So, okay. Oh, and a pig. And, and yeah, is that like noisy data or this does is he not belong? noisy data? Okay. So okay, uh, every semester when we run our classes uh, on intro to programming and computer science, there is one particular class that is on debugging. Okay. Which is the process of, uh, okay, you wrote a piece of code. Right. And it's not running as you expect it to. So how do you fix it? That is the debugging process. And so a, a lot of times, a bunch of the errors might be things that you can easily fix. But most of the time, uh, your program runs fine and it gives you an answer, but the answer is not what you thought it should be. That's kind of where like uh, programming is kind of different than... English, for example, because in English, like if you write a sentence, somebody else can interpret it however they'd like. Like one example we give to students is the chicken is ready to eat. What do you think about when you when I say the chicken is ready to eat? Well, I'm a vegetarian, so <laughs> I don't want to actually eat the chicken, but I would like because I'm a vegetarian, I assume the chicken wants to eat his food. OK. There you go. But I would assume I enjoy meat. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, so I my uh, my take on that is uh, I have a chicken <laughs> yeah. on the table and I'm going to eat it. Right. right? So there's two interpretations <laughs> to that. But when we write code, there's only one way to interpret that piece of code that is written. Right. So. Um, so that's where things go wrong in our code because we're like, well, it should work because in my mind, like when I kind of thought about it, it's supposed to give me the right answer, but it doesn't, right? And so obviously the program is the one who's wrong <laughs> because the computer is merely following the algorithm, the set of instructions, and there's only one way to follow those instructions. That's basically what that whole lecture, that whole class is about. And then I bring out this big box of ducks and I say, <laughs> and I say, um, well, uh, programming is actually kind of creative because the solution to a problem, I mean, you could brute force a bunch of things, but oftentimes the solution to a debugging problem is just to take time away from it and then potentially explain exactly what you're, you think the code is doing to someone who knows absolutely nothing about programming. Oh. It could be you. Yes, I'm available. <laughs> or it could be a rubber a du duck. Oh. So this is called rubber ducky debugging oh. because uh, it's an inanimate object that yeah. doesn't know anything about programming. Right. And it forces you to scrutinize every single line of code that you wrote, even ones you think are oh. correct. Um, most often, it's the ones that are that you think are correct that kind of are, are the issue. It's kind of like, like where did I put my glasses, uh -huh. right? And you spend a long time looking for them and they're on top of your head. Yep. It's that, that exact feeling. It's like, where is that error coming from? And it's going to be something super simple. So the rubber duck is what um, helps you figure that, that problem out because you're explaining it in very grave detail wow. to something that doesn't know. And if ducks are not your thing, there are frogs oh, and, the and pig. pigs. Of course. <laughs> Of course. Or friends, if <laughs> right. you want to explain it to yeah. them. But friends can so, be judgy. Friends can be judgy. Like, yes. Yeah. So I used to explain my code to my son when he was one, Yeah. when I had issues, because he doesn't know anything about programming. Right. And so it's the <laughs> yeah. act of talking it through. But you said right. it has to be in great detail. Yes. You can't skip, because that's when, because you already, like, clearly your code is wrong mm -hmm. because of you. And so, right. <laughs> and so don't skip any details, right? That's I feel the, like this is very cool. much like life outside of academia. Yeah. <laughs> like 90% you know, of the time, the problem is probably you, yeah. you know, and it's like you have to figure out how to interact yeah. in the world or with others. Totally. So I brought all this, all these ducks, a wide variety. Yeah. So now I have a, a question for you. Uh -oh. Which duck would you like to keep? This <gasps> is a hidden personality test. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. No, it's not. <laughs> we'll probably have to cut this because it might take a long time. Um, I would um, this guy. This nice. guy. Yeah, he's a little bit offbeat. Yeah. Um, you know, eye catching, and I feel like I could explain stuff to him. Yeah. I get to keep him. Yeah, of course. Thank you. That's so great. And you put one for the set as well. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> Does someone from the crew want to like pick a duck for the set? 
You took the one I would have picked. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Um, There's another Mohawk guy right over there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go to Mohawk. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, of course. 